Recording in progress. Yeah, just a, a bittersweet ending to the season. Um, just really proud of the kids for competing. Um, and our guys pitched their tail off today. Difficult for the rain delay, sitting around and came out and found a way to to score a run against you know their best guy. Um, and you know we, we had opportunities and you know it really was just going to come down to who who made the mistake or who got the big hit. And, both teams had chances at about every inning, it felt like, and um, you know they just were able to get the, the big one. But um, I'm just proud of the kids. I mean, they just competed their tails off today. You know, we talked about just leaving it all on the field. We got off to a rough start, and um, you know, but we didn't give up. Um, I think it would have been really easy you know, after the second inning to, to just mail it in, um, and we found a way to, to fight all the way back. Um, you know, with some big hits, but you know, good cave, and uh, again, I mean, we just we just. Kept getting guys on there and extras, and um, you know I think three out of the four innings or, or whatever it was, uh, we had guys on and just couldn't get the big hit. Had chances and uh, just didn't go our way today. Um, it, was, it, was a, it was a well played game by both teams, and unfortunate to be on the losing end. Coach, just more on the pitching, Ben, uh, Kyle, and Dom. Yeah, I mean they did they did a great job. Uh, you know Ben Ben has pitched well the last couple outings and gave him the ball and. Pitched his tail off, gave us a chance. Um, you know, getting close to the end there, just knew that 100 pitches was probably his, his limit. Starts cramping in his calf, but um, I mean, just just pitched his tail off and um, gave us a chance. Um, and we didn't we didn't do much to help him early, and um, and then Najir came in and did a tremendous job. Um, and then Kramer comes in and just you know longest outing of the year, pitched his tail off and uh, did a great job. And, and Dom the same. Some big outs, and um, you know, just un unfortunate uh, that we, we couldn't get a hit somewhere in there to, to try to give us a chance to win it. Uh, can you talk a little bit about like what's being said in the locker room? You know, when you guys you go, you go in during the rain delay, you just giving up that run. They still have another man in scoring position. What's uh, being said for you guys that go back out there and tie the game? You know, I, I don't really know. I stayed in the dugout the entire time they were in the locker room. So, um, but I know that you know when we came out, we were ready to go. Uh, kids had a lot of energy and. We're ready, so uh, whatever they did, it was working. Tough in this one, the unearned runs. Yeah, you know, back to bite you. The, yeah, I mean, just some some routine plays that we just didn't make. And again, that was um, you know the second inning. That's just that's just what their offense is. They're gonna put pressure on you, and then um, and, and try to get some guys on, and then hope one of their big guys is able to, to do damage um, and, and and score a big uh, big innings like that's just the mo. So. Played right into it by not being able to play catch, and, um, and then just obviously in the last inning the same thing. So um, unfortunate that, that the guys just couldn't pick up the arms because they were doing they were doing such a good job out there competing and stuff. So um, yeah. uh, you mentioned it a little bit in your uh, opening monologue there, but can you talk a little bit about the team's ability to you know overcome that five run deficit and come back? Yeah, I mean we knew I mean, there was there was no tomorrow, um, and again we. Should, We've been down, we've given up big innings a lot this year and been down and found ways to come back and give ourselves a chance or win the game. And, um, so it was no different than, than what we practiced all year. So we knew that we, knew we weren't going to roll over and proud of the kids for just competing again and, and just finding a way to, to get back in the game um, and then just be able to, to continue it all the way through the last inning, So uh, especially after the rain delay. So it was just a great job of competing. We just, again, they made a couple more plays than we did and, and got the big hit that we couldn't get. Typical. Ben McKay game. Yeah. Yeah, just a huge home run and, you know, extends his hit by pitch record and uh, just finds a way to get on base five times. And, um, you know, I wish they wish they could have split the award between him and Brock for, for player of the year because I felt like he really, really deserved it and just ha has had an amazing career and uh, just been such a big time, a big part of our program and, um, you know, has really turned himself into a really, really good baseball player and somebody that's just worked and, Cares a lot about the program and has turned into such a great leader. And, and, and just made, you know, obviously caught his tail off this year after just not getting a lot of opportunities to catch just with uh, the, the Tommy John surgery and, 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 you know, obviously being behind Crouch a couple years ago. So um, just proud of him. I mean, just a lot of big, big defensive plays that he made. I mean, he throws a guy out, which was huge. And, um, you know, 
just blocking balls or runners at third base. I mean, just just an all around um, great season and a great career here. And you know, this, this program is going to miss him mightily. What's your biggest takeaway from both this tournament as well as this entire season? Yeah, I mean, we just overcame a lot, just a lot of drama, a lot of things that were out of our control, a lot of layers to things that um, were just unfortunate. Um, and, uh, you know, r the rough couple weeks there in the middle of the season. Uh, but, and, and then just, again, it starts with, with the pitching coach leaving, um, you know, Christmas time and, and just having to do that. And, I mean, it was just a lot of things that we had to try to overcome. And, you know, we just unfortunately just couldn't, couldn't do enough. Um, you know, but it was great to see you know guys breaking the, the record for home runs and um, just competing every day. And uh, again, we just <clears throat> felt like we left a lot of wins on the table with just not enough arms and just weren't able to do enough. But um, again, it wasn't for a lack of, of fight or lack of um, compete. And you know, I think we showed that today. And um, again, just a, a kind of a little bit of a microcosm of we just fought like crazy. It just wasn't enough. With all the arms you threw today, was that by design, or did you have to make adjustments either with Vespi there or with the weather? Um, I mean, we were just going to go to our guys. I mean, we threw, you know, our three best. Obviously, uh, I mean, I mean, we, we didn't know what we were going to get out of Ben. Um, just obviously, just got off off to a bad start, just with the arm stuff, and, and just finally got going here late in the year and back to his kind of his old self and uh, so I mean we really didn't know what to expect um, but he did a great job went out there and competed we just didn't give him any help and um, and gave us everything that he had and, and then obviously we were gonna go to Najir and, and Kramer and, and just ride him as long as we possibly could uh, you know Najir hurt his knee uh, last week and so you know it was, it was a little touch and go yesterday and, and just said he was gonna go out there and give us what he had and said he felt pretty good it was starting to bother him a little bit and then obviously we knew when he was going to go sit around and we knew the delay was going to be long we knew that he probably wasn't going to be able to come back out so we had to go to Kramer and you know he you know obviously it's got off to I mean first 90 percent of the season was was such a great year and you know, got a little rough patch there at the end just I think running out of gas and we tried to try to baby him here the last two weeks just to make sure he was ready for this week and um and you know throw three and two thirds and 60 pitches just out of the norm just really proud of him for going out there and just laying it all on the line and that's what we talked about before the game just just put it all out there and whatever happens is going to happen but um, just don't let it be because we didn't you know we didn't we didn't put everything out there so just proud of him I mean again th those three guys and even Don I mean, he's been a big part of everything but you know they they gave us a shot uh, to win the game and we just we just couldn't do enough Well, again, I mean, what we talked about all year was just the number of home runs that we hit. I mean, you expect 23 and 24 year olds to be able to handle moments and, and to be able to, to do things that they've um, been taught for the last four or five years. So just to see both those guys grow, mature, overcome injuries, Tommy John, ACL, um, you know, just become leaders and, and um, you know, Rose had just a rough go and, and, and McCabe too, just not being able to catch having to play first base and hide him last year, not so nobody knew that his arm was, was torn. Um, but then just to be able to continue offensively to have the growth and, uh, and then, I mean, again, those are two guys that when the game's on the line and, and you got a chance, you're gonna want up to the, up to the plate because they have the experience, the, the work ethic, they, they've been in those moments, they've had a ton of opportunities, a ton of college at bats, and obviously have the age to be able to be mentally tough enough to handle, be able to slow the game down and, and put together good at bats. They did did a lot of that all year, and um, you know this week. Thanks for your time today. Thanks, guys.